Good morning. The Bible says, and he brings them out of their distresses. He calms the storm so that the waves are still. Then we are glad because they are quiet. So he guides them to their desired haven. I'm Stacy Thomas. This is Orchard Hills Church. And uh, we've just been, um, obviously, I'm in Noonan, Georgia, and we've just had an incredible tornado category four. Some said it was recorded up to 200 miles an hour, a 450 foot funnel. If you can imagine that, the damage that it's done here is pretty incredible. If you were to see it, it's unbelievable. And I just want to tell you a couple of stories about things that have happened. Uh, just um, amazing. One lady um, she, I guess, heard the siren or whatever it was, but went into the, got into the bathtub with her daughters and pulled either a blanket, I think it was a blanket she pulled over them, and um, the all the thunderous noise and the freight train coming through the house, and then she felt rain, pulled the blanket off, and the house was gone, but she was there with her girls. Now, I experienced it to, uh, my street was pretty much wiped out, but it didn't touch my little area uh, by the grace of God. And uh, when it was coming through, uh, I um, uh, my, uh, went downstairs to uh, shut the garage and the garage door was open and my window was open in my car. And about that time the light went out, so I couldn't shut the garage. And this neighbor's dog rushes in up the steps. My dog rushes in. And I'm trying to get this dog out because it's full of fleas. And what is he doing? He's so scared. It's pitch black. And I've got another blessing. My boys have wasted all my flashlights. So I'm in the total pitch black dark. There is no light anywhere. And this dog is TTing all over me. This strange dog. And so I'm in the midst of all of this. And I just said, you know what, Lord? Uh, I know it's a tornado, but there's nothing I can do. Uh, so I just went back to bed and uh, just waited for the morning uh, to come and for some lights and hopefully the power, but my power was out three days. But what is my point in telling you all those stories of, about things that happened? The truth is God controls the storm. Do you realize out of all that damage, I'm sure it's going to be probably close to $100 million worth of damage here in Noonan, Georgia. But only one person died, and they died from a heart attack, probably from the tornado, but the paramedics couldn't get to them. You would have thought with all of this damage, there would have been multitudes of people that were at least hurt by trees, flying debris. If you drive through the streets, what you see is just mountains of debris, trees, all these kind of things that are on the side of the road. But only one person died of a heart attack. Now, God have mercy upon that family. But when you think about how many people could have been hurt, there's reason to give thanks to Almighty God. How many children could have lost their lives, just like the one I explained to you to start with. God was gracious. He tells us here, he brings them out of their distresses. He calms the storm. When a storm comes through in your life, just like a tornado, ripping everything apart, do you cry out to God just like he did here? Why? After it's over, God says they were glad because they were quiet. He guides them to their desired haven. Oh, that men would give thanks to the Lord for his goodness and, if his, and for his wonderful works to the children of men. What is God saying? I just wish you'd thank me for what I did that you didn't realize I did. How many times is that the case? When we made it home. We didn't have a wreck coming home. Uh, we went on a vacation. Nothing bad happened. Didn't get eaten by the sharks. I mean, we could go on and on and on about all the little things that God is doing for us daily. What a tornado and what a provision that God made.
keep praying for those that are in bad shape right now without homes and that are going through t tough times. And we look forward to how God's going to have testimony and testimony through all of this to his glory and to his honor. Thank you. God bless you. Have a great day.